वेलकम टू दी यूट्यूब चैनल जस्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे वी विल लर्न क्लास एट मैथ्स चैप्टर एक्सपोनेंट्स एंड रेडिकल्स पार्ट एट सो इन दिस पार्ट वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन रेडिकल्स सो आर थर्ड एग्जाम्पल इज एन रूट ए एन रूट ऑफ ए अपॉन एन रूट ऑफ बी इज इक्वल टू एन रूट ऑफ ए अपॉन बी सो इन दिस एल एच एस इज इक्वल टू एन रूट ए अपॉन एन रूट ऑफ बी दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए रेस टू वन बाय एन अपॉन बी रेस टू वन बाय एन नाउ द पावर आर सेम दिस इज इन डिविजन सो वी विल टेक द पावर एज कॉमन a upon b whole raised to one upon n. In this, now the power is in form of one by n, so we can write it as n raised to sorry n root of a upon b. therefore this is the answer like this this is equal to rhs so the lhs is equal to rhs now the fourth question that is m root of n root of a like this is equal to m n root of a so we'll take the lhs that is m root of n root of a is equal to we can write first we will take m root of Uh, m m root as it is now we can write n root of a like a raised to one by n right after that we can write root m as a raised to one by n whole raised to one by m by multiplication of powers we'll get a raised to one by m n. Mn. One by m n can be written as m n root of a. Therefore, L H S is equal to R H S. I hope you have understood this questions. Now the fifth example. In fifth example, it is. n root of a raised to minus m is equal to a raised to minus m upon n. So first we will take L H S. L H S is equal to n root of a raised to minus m. Now we can write root n as a raised to minus m whole raised to one by n, one by n. Multiplication of power we will get a raised to minus m upon n. Therefore, L H S is equal to R H S. I hope you understood this all questions. Now we'll solve the question.
equations based on radicals so our first question is express x raised to 1 by p whole raised to 1 by q in radical form so given is x raised to 1 by p whole raised to 1 by q now we will multiply the powers x raised to 1 by p into 1 by q this is equal to x raised to 1 by p q 1 by p q now the power is in the form of 1 by p q so we can write it as p q is the root of x therefore this is in the radical form now the second question that is p by q raised to minus whole raised to minus 2 by 3 whole raised to 3 by 2 whole raised to minus 1 by 7 now we will take the base same whole multiplied by now we will multiply the all powers all the powers minus 2 by 3 into 3 by 2 into minus 1 by 7 3 3 will get cancelled 2 2 will get cancelled remaining p by q whole raised to minus 1 into minus 1 minus 1 into 1 minus 1 into minus 1 upon 7 minus minus plus sign of plus positive sign upon 7 now the power is in form of 1 by 7 we can write it as 7 root of p by q this is the answer I hope you have understood the questions. In part 9 we will solve the more questions of exponents. Till that, thank you for watching.